fundamental of GIS. Welcome back, everybody. It is still the series of GIS people. Number nine is Rag College. Rag College behavioral geography. Rag College was born in Australia, but has worked in the U.S. since completing his Ph.D. at the University of Iowa in 1966. He has worked at the Ohio University and since 1977 at the University of California, Santa Barbara. GI Science revisits many of the classic problems of spatial analysis, most of which assumed that people were rational and were optimizers in a very narrow sense. Over the last four decades, Rag's work has contributed much of our understanding of individual spatial behavior by relaxing these restrictive assumptions, yet retaining the power of scientific generalization. Golick's analytical behavioral geography has examined individual behavior using statistical and computational process methods, models, particularly within the domain of transportation GIS and has done much to make sense of the complexities and constraints that govern movement within urban systems. Related to this, analytical behavioral geography has also developed our understanding of individual cognitive awareness of urban networks and landmarks. Rex's work is avowedly interdisciplinary. He has undertaken extensive work with cognitive psycho psychologists at UCSB to develop personal guidance systems for use by visually impaired travelers. This innovative work has linked GPS for location and tracking, and GIS for performing operations such as shortest path calculation, buffering, and orientation. With a novel auditory virtual system that presents users with the spatial relations between nearby environmental features, the device also allows users to personalize their representations of the environment. Rag's enduring contribution to GI science has been in modeling, explaining, and predicting disaggregate behaviors of individuals. This has been achieved through researching spatial cognition and cognitive science through GIS applications. He has established the importance of cognitive mapping to reasoning through GI science, developed our understanding of the ways in which spatial concepts are embedded in GIS technology, and made vital contributions to the development of multi-model interfaces to GIS. These efforts have helped to develop new links to information science, information technology, and multimedia, and suggest ways of bridging the digital divide that threatens to future disadvantage, disabled, and elderly people. As a virtually impaired individual himself, Rack firmly believes that GIS technology and GI science research 
are the most significant contributions that geography can make to truly integrated human and physical sciences, and sees a focus upon cognition as the natural bridge between these approaches to scientific queries.